everybody. Hello, out there in TV land. This is Joe. For the internet. This is Lisa. Lisa. From the Dallas branch of the Fastest Man Alive. Well, I'm not a man, but hey. Um, I hope not. Um, I won't go further with that, but... Um, we are coming to the close of our day 10. It is now 11.45-ish. And, um... Yeah. Getting ready to, uh... Chow down at midnight? No, yeah. Not. Midnight snack is a handful of cashews and a large pizza. So, uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's a small pizza. <laughs> um... Overall, I think we've uh, we've done well in this thing. Um, you've done very well. Yeah, I, you've been my rock. I tell you, especially the three days you've been gone with the kids. With the kids, but whatever. Which, which made it honestly, it was easier for me to uh, juice and to make juices and things and be alone when I was alone I'm glad I could help although for me it was di incredibly difficult to travel with two children under four and have everybody around me eating massive massive quantities of food passing, I had my juice yeah you had I your stuck juice with and it. you did it yeah I stuck with it passing dozens and hundreds of fast food restaurants along the way I'm sure yes yeah yeah, that was something you had to deal with that, that I did not, and actually BP had to deal with too from, uh, I think, this past weekend, was having to go out to eat with people who were not juicing and have to sit there and, and drink a juice while people were chowing down on Mexican food or, in your case, uh, twice Tex-Mex. And people look at you weird when you walk in with your juice and you just sit there, and the wait staff is like, are you going to order yeah. No, not unless you got a juicer in the back. Yeah. And Pretty interesting juicer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, feeling good. I I felt good um, most of the days. Um, you know, I've been a little hungry here and there, but it's it was basically in the first couple of days, and then in these last couple of days, uh, the time in the middle was was pretty easy. I was like, oh my god, this is easy. Yeah. I can do this forever. Yeah, we can no. do this for twenty, sixty, mm -mm. hundred days. Mm -mm. No. Uh, it's it's time. I think we're both ready to uh, to get back to chewing, chewing, yeah, to chewing food. You know, I I wrote on the blog tonight that I, I <coughs> it's not that I I felt weird. I felt actually really good. I just haven't felt normal in a sense. Um, you know, that whole the whole chewing thing. You know, I haven't I haven't gone a, even a day. I don't think without food since I was a baby. Uh, or at least, you know, solid food, since I was a baby. Um, so to go 10 days was, um, I think, quite an, uh, quite an achievement for us both. Yeah. I mean, it was seriously, seriously a test of wills for me, um, trying to get over all the cravings initially. And then, like I said, in the middle, it was like, oh, please, this is easy. Now, by day seven, I thought, oh, day seven, I've got three more days. No, not really. You have like four full days. Yeah. And it wasn't a juice fast. It was a juice slow. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Er, record player stopped. No, but the last, no, the last four days went by really slowly. Thought. And, yes. and it, and it kind of was kind of weird because we did the Juice Fest the 10 days over two full weekends. Um, That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, which I think is, is harder. I think it's been harder for a lot of uh, the other guys on the blog to get through the weekends mm -hmm. um, because of the social aspect of eating. And, well, we're not social. No. Oh, you're not. Oh, yeah. But like we didn't really go out to eat a lot on the weekends anyway, so it's yeah, not like true. we had to cut that out of our lives where we were like, oh my gosh, we can't go to this restaurant, you know, we just... Yeah, but still we would... Or a lot Sorry of for the storms out. here, it's in, we're in Dallas and it's storming tonight. But yeah, a lot of a lot of it was the ease of, of the weekend, of being able to just go get Chinese food or, you know, Jack in the Box or a pizza and, you know, 
when you're uh, when you're making your own juice and committed to a better lifestyle, then you know you have to really be in it the whole time. You know, I mean, when I wasn't making juice, um, I was thinking about making juice and thinking about drinking juice and whether I'd had enough and all that kind of stuff. So, so what else? What else is there? We uh, we went to Whole Foods tonight mm -hmm. to um, stock up on this week's uh, provisions. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lisa made a lovely hummus, if you'd like to tell us about that. I did. Basically, I made hummus. I have some chickpeas and some roasted red peppers, some other stuff, put it in a little food processor. And what was that stuff called? Tahini? Tahini is that paste. It? Know, which is sesame, basically whipped sesame seeds. That doesn't look good at all. It does to me. You, it well, smells good. Yeah. You put it in the hummus and then I don't care. And you roasted some red peppers in the oven, mm -hmm. mix that in, mm -hmm. in the, all in the blender. Mm -hmm. You made some wild rice for us for the I week. Did. I chopped up uh, and, and uh, a, a bunch of fruit and a bunch of celery and you know stuff to snack on. Um, snacks <laughs> snacks are no longer you know candy and cheese and all that kind of stuff, but chips. Chips, yeah. But now it's it's gonna be celery and carrots and fruits and and uh, we bought some raw cashews and raw organic almonds um, for snacking this week. Uh, thank you, Engine Two. Which sounds delicious. Yes, everything sounds delicious right now. We're just gonna have to go to sleep after we do this. And, uh, I know. I'm gonna grab handfuls of that hummus and just. Well, at midnight, it's. Uh, you know, technically we're done at midnight, so if you want to grab a midnight snack, that's all, that's all you, sister. Nah. I might crush up those almonds and inhale them. Just kidding. Yeah. Snort a line of them. Exactly. It's healthy, right? Yeah, it's almond. It's, it's going to go to your stomach. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so overall, I mean, as far as, for me, you know, it... It was pretty hard. There were moments where I felt really good, felt a lot of clarity, felt like I was kind of energized and whatnot, but yeah. this this was harder than I thought it would be. And I'm going to go ahead and say that I give everything. I mean, I admire all those people that go beyond the 10 days because I don't think I could do that. Um, I've been... It's difficult with children, too. Pretty much counting down the minutes today, waiting for this day to be over so I can start chewing some food. Yeah. Now, my tastes are definitely different. I'm not looking forward to going out and getting something, you know, fast food or anything right. like that. It's not like I'm dying to go out and get some sort of cheeseburger or something. But I am excited to start eating my cucumbers instead of juicing them. Yeah. So. No, it's uh, after five days of eating healthier to prepare for the juice fast and then the 10 days of the juice fast. Uh, according to our scale at home, I'm down 21 pounds. And look at him. So, look, he looks good. No? The neck feels, everything feels smaller. My my uh, my waist is definitely smaller. I mean, I'm 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 in no way, you know, in shape <laughs> yet. But you know, having 21 pounds down in a couple of weeks, you know, makes the makes the pants looser and makes the shirts looser, and uh, you know, I feel really good. How about you? I've lost 10. I hate men. Y'all can just well, drop it so easily. It is tougher for you ladies. But so 10 pounds for you. That's awesome. And it's the first 10 and the first 21 of uh, many more that we plan and hope to lose. So um, All right. I think that's about it. We're running out of time here. Yeah, we've got a 10 minute limit. So uh, anyway. If anybody's still watching, y'all are awesome. I wish I could yeah, give you some thanks. bonus as <laughs> yeah. a reward. And to all out there who are go who think of trying juicing, just do it. Do it. Okay. See how you feel. Because we feel great now.